You can't think that your marriage is impervious to attack. Yeah. You can fall just like anybody else. Exactly. I want you to look at anybody in the Bible, any Bible hero that you look at, you look up to, just about every one of them has some place where they fell, some place mm -hmm. they had a weakness that tripped them up and either did destroy them or could have destroyed them before they got themselves back right. So you are not impervious. And one thing I kept telling myself was, there are much, many, many men of God, much greater than me, who have fallen when it came to marriage, whether yeah. because of infidelity or any number of things, it's gotten to a divorce, whatever. And I said, I'm not better than them. You know, so the only thing that I can do differently than them is pay attention closely and, yes. to myself and to my role in this marriage and to this marriage. And that's why it's so important that you do not judge people. When you see them yeah. fall in marriage mm -hmm. for whatever yep. the cause may be, you do not judge and point your fingers and put your mouth on them and say, whether they are men, whether they are a five-fold ministry gift or not, it could be your neighbor mm -hmm. yeah. and they're divorcing. Don't ever. You don't put your mouth on them and judge them and think, well, he did this or she did that or something, something, whatever. You don't know what's you going on. You don't know on. because it could be any old thing. Like seriously, people get divorced from for the smallest things, and it takes time. It's not something that's happened overnight. No. It takes time, and what I've observed over the time, a lot of time, it's just that one moment, that one thing. That you let slide and you thought that, oh, that's benign. It's nothing will happen. You know, mm -hmm. that was innocent. And you never attend to it. You never put it under the blood. Mm -hmm. You know, you never expose it. So you leave it there. And that's the one thing that they'll use as a seed. And then it begins to germinate and grow other things. So for us, we try our very best to be very vigilant about those little seeds. And... Anytime we present it with a thought that's contrary to what we're trying to build in our relationship, we, we expose it. Yep. We talk about it. 